Okay, so um, what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you some of my favourite colours. Um, I've put on um, this anti-feathering lip pencil that I absolutely love from Too Faced. That's what it looks like. And it's called um, Borderline. So Too Faced Borderline, absolutely love it. Um, you just put it around your um, actual lips. Around your actual lips. Um, not on the lips, but outside the lips. So then it stops the lipsticks from going out. So anyway, so my first nude colour that I love is my NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Got this one from a beauty box. So let's put it on people. So this is more for the days that you just want something that's really moisturising but also just to wear an hour or two um, as well. Um, so I really like this one. It's just a, you know, you've used too many times lip glosses or, or lipsticks on your lips and you just need it to have a little break but still have a little bit of pigmentation. I absolutely love this one for it. And I love the smell to it. It's nice and sweet. I love that smell. So, that's the first one. So now let's take that off. And if you want, I'll uh, actually I do some swatching. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll do a little bit of swatching on my back of my hand. So this one's NYX is um, just here. Yeah. Um, but that's Nix's. Now, the next one that I absolutely love, and it's my go-to um, all the time when I want to, when I have really bright um, eyes, really bright eyes, um, is my Tease. My awesome Tease. Oh, sorry, I just need my sugar. I'm using a mirror. But that's my mirror that you just saw my sugar. My sugar peel mirror. And I said this is my Tease lipstick. I got it from a um, beauty box. And this one is in colour in Tempting Pink. So that's what it looks like. That's the colour. That's the colour of it. Absolutely love it. So let's put it on. Making sure I don't have any yuckiness on my lips. I accidentally got. Why didn't anyone tell me I had freaking tissue paper still on my lips? Jeez, man. Jeez. Yeah. So time to put it on. Look how beautiful that is. I normally think that nudes on me, because I'm so fair skinned, end up washing me out. But with this one, it has a slight pink to it. So it still gives me colour to it, but it's still nude. But it doesn't wash me out, if that makes sense. Um, as I said, I actually normally only use this one when I have like really bright coloured eyes and stuff. Um, so I'll swatch it next to my NYX. No, that's only one swipe. So that's more of a pinky colour. I absolutely love this one. One of my go-to ones that I absolutely love. I love, I love, I love. Absolutely love that one. So I've taken that one off. Um, the next one that I'll show you is my next favourite nude. So I've got three favourite nudes. and But this is more of a pinky, even more pinky than my tees and it's actually from my Rouge um, Edition Velvet from Bajor. absolutely love this product and I'll show you, I'll put it on so this is what it looks like 
No put it on. So I love wearing this one because it just amplifies my it may, it makes me look like I've just got a new natural lip. It's just my natural lip color that I actually don't really have much lipstick or anything on at all. I really love this one. Um this one I use every day to work. Um I it's kind of bad but I leave it in the car. I shouldn't because it um sometimes it gets really really hot and it ends up um, getting a bit liquidy. I don't know if that affects the um, formula, but so far it hasn't affected me, hasn't affected the formula for me. But look how beautiful this one is. This one is my go-to everyday look. Doesn't matter, it doesn't matter if I don't have any other makeup on, no mascara, nothing else. If I'm feeling really down and I'm going off to work or I'm just going to be around the house and but no friends are coming over, this is the nude lipstick that I put on. By the way, this one is called Nudist 07 and it's a matte finish. So before I'll, I'll uh, swatch it next to the other ones. See the difference? Even though it's a nude colour, it has a lot of pigmentation. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to call this one. Nude. <laughs> I call it nude. So the next two that I'm going to show you, um, it's borderline nude slash pinks. So that's why I'm going from nude to pinks next. Um, so the first one I'm showing you is again a NYX soft matte lip product, lip cream. And this one is in Milani. So this is what it looks like. Oh. Oh jeez, you can see it again. Let me just move. Because I don't want you to see my mirror. Oh, oh no, look at me, moving everything. Um, If you're wondering, oh gosh, now you can even see the colours. <laughs> oh Jesus, I'm having a weird... Kind of like the great Wizard of Oz when the Wizard of Oz is saying, Do not pay attention to the man behind that curtain! Like, please do not pay attention to the mirror that is next to my camera that is from Sugar Peel. Ignore the sh red shadow when the orange and what other colour you can see from it. I know, I'm being stupid now, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this one is Milani. So I'll put it on. Love the smell of the NYX, NYX ones. I absolutely love her. By the way, I just recently found out that I've been doing... Okay, so another YouTuber, and I'll put it down the, the um, on the link below. She actually figured out that for years she has been putting on her lipsticks on the wrong way. Or applying a lipstick wrong. And I watched it. And OMG, I have been putting on my lipsticks on the wrong way. So, I put it down the bottom so she can tell you how, you know, what I've been doing wrong. And what a million other people have been doing wrong. I'm so happy that, I, that she put it up because I would have continued doing the wrong thing. And since I've realised that I've been doing the wrong thing, I've been doing her trick and oh my gosh it's been working it's been making my lipsticks even better looking than what they were before so anyway so this one's such a nice light pink nude pink i absolutely love this one as well um so this one's nyx um milan and i'll just swatch it next to bourgeois so that one's right there so you can see that we're now going into the pinky tones. So 
so absolutely love this one. Well, there you get. I love all these lipsticks that I'm showing you. These are my top 26 um, lipsticks, but I'm not I'm not putting them in order of 1 to 26 or 26 to 1. I'm just doing it from colours, but oh my gosh. And because I am showing you some um, NYX right now, um, I'll put down the link down the bottom, but at the moment Target is having a 30% of most of their makeup. Um, so you can go buy, I bought these two for only $18, so I got the um, Milan, was it the one I just showed you? Yeah, Milan, and this one that I'm showing you next, which is even more pinky, and it's going away from the nude, but it's borderline nude slash pink. Um, this is San Pablo. Um, I bought them two together for only $18 or less than $18. $17, $18 because it was 30% off. So anyway, look how beautiful their colour is. So let's put it on. I'm trying to stay. Now look how beautiful that one is. Really love. As I said, I'm going to say I really love a lot in this video. So that's like the pinky colour. So we're going from all the way from like a neutral neutral to a pink, dark pinky nude. So this one was called San Pablo. Okay, now we're going into one of my absolutely favourite, favourite um, liquid matte um, lipsticks. Um, and this one is Chi Chi. Absolutely love Chi Chi. I reckon this is a much better, um, what's your name, um, dupe. I think it's a better product than um, Lime Crime. Um, it's not as drying on your lips. I actually, it's a bit drying, but not as drying as the, the Lime Crime ones. I actually feel that these is just a lot better. Um, it's a lot nicer. It's I love this a lot nicer. This is a lot nicer. Um, as I said, it's not as drying on your lips, but it also, but it still mattifies. I reckon this is a big awesome dupe. This one's called She's Not Hot. She's not hot. Of course, I, oh no, sorry. She's not me. She's not hot. Ha, huh, I'm getting the names wrong. She's not me. So obviously, she, that woman over there, she's not me. And that other woman over there, she's not me. And you watching there, well, you're not me. Yeah, but that's the name of the lipstick. Oh, and this is what it looks like. And it smells awesome. And I actually have to do that. Take off excess because it is so pigmented. Like, oh. And I'll show you. I've taken most of that off. And even then, that's going to have lots of products still on there for me. So I'll show you. This also smells like lollies as well. And did you see that? With my NYX, I was um, dipping in and out. But with this one, I had to take lots of excess off. And I still had heaps of product. Look how beautiful that is. I really, 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 really love this one. She's not me. <laughs> so, again, 
I've just taken it out of the tube. I've got to take most of it off. And I'll do a swatch in the back of my hand. Really beautiful. This is what this I bought. Um, this was one of my first, after I got my Lime Crime. This I had a beauty box, and before I started doing my collection of lipsticks, I ran off and bought this one, and I fell in love with Chi Chi. I love Chi Chi. It's an Australian product, um, and you can get it from Myers and from Target. I mean Target. Um, but look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And as I said, you don't need much from it. Um, you, I actually have to take lots of excess off the wand. And even with that, I had plenty and I still have plenty left over. <laughs> okay, so the next two, even though they are my favourites, um, I haven't worn them before. This is the first time me wearing them. I actually went um, last night and bought a few special stuff for me only because I've actually already a whole month ago before I actually bought all my Christmas presents and or I started a month ago so each week I was I had a limit of how much I wanted to spend and I would go out and buy stuff and now I have everything bought and what was the last couple of weeks I've had everything bought so I've been kind of uh, making excuses to buy stuff for me but anyway Yesterday I ran off and I bought some NARS Audacious Lipsticks. Well, this one's an Audacious Lipstick. Absolutely love this one. As I said, I haven't worn this one yet. Um, it has the metallic... This is so beautiful. First time. This one looks beautiful. I love the fact that it has NARS written on it. I don't know if you guys can see that if the camera picks it up. But look how beautiful this colour is. I'm not a pink person. I'm actually more a purple person. But I fell in love with this colour. Um, this one's called Mish Mishia? Mishio? Mishio? Mishio! Hopefully that lets you read that. If not, I'm sorry. But it's Mishio. So let's put this one on. So I bought this one because I, I, I had um, a list of all the ones that I wanted to try in um, lipsticks. But then I told them, okay, well, and I actually swatched on um, a diary all the colours that I have at home. And I'm like, these are all the colours I have at home. This is the ones that I want to buy today. I only bought three at the end. Um, so I'm just wondering, could you suggest a lipstick for me? And they told me, well, have you tried pinks? And the only bright pink one that I have is the one I just showed you from Chi Chi. And I'm like, well, that's the only pink I really have. Um, I'm more into, like, vampy dark colours more than bright colours. Uh, but because um, summer is around, so let's just give it a go. So they showed me this one. They put it on my lips at the store, and I fell in love with this. I've always tried to stay away from Barbie pinks, but then again, this one I, ca I still don't classify as a Barbie pink, but it's still nice and bright. I really love it. So this is one of the um, Audacious lipsticks. So now the next one is again one of my newer lipsticks that I got from Nars, and again it's the Audacious. Audacious? Am I saying it right? I hope I'm saying it right. Um, but one of the Audacious lipsticks this one as well is brand new hasn't been used before um i did try to get again in the store and this one is called natalie i should have put this one as a nude oh oh well i wasn't too sure if i should put it as a pink or as a nude and i should have put this one on first before my other pinks but oh well stuff happens 
I fell in love with this, put it on the store, and it's something I would never really pick up. Does that make sense? So let's, as I said, it's brand new. Look, look at the Nas writing on it. I kind of hate using lipsticks for the first time because I like how they look and then, oh well, stuff happens. So let's put this one on. Look how beautiful that is on me. I think that's like an orangey, pinky tone. Normally I don't go for oranges. I don't like oranges. But this one, because I was looking um, for summer colours. Because as you'll see, the rest of them are not really summer colours. They're more vampy winter colours. And But then again, I started my collection during winter. But look how beautiful that one is. So this one's called Natalie. Absolutely love this one. I got so excited that I had brand new NARS lipsticks from Audacious Lace 2 that I showed you that I bought yesterday that I forgot to swatch them on my hand. So off camera I've quickly swatched it. So I know we've already seen the Chi Chi one but that was the NARS Mish... Mishi? Um... Mishio? Mishio? I hope I'm saying it right. And then this one here is Natalie. So the next one I'm showing you again is a NARS lipstick, uh, lipstick, but this one is the lip pencil that I wore yesterday. It was brand new from yesterday as well, but I wore it yesterday. And this one is like, uh, as, I, as I stated before, I like really dark vampy colours. So this is the vampy going into the vampy pinks. This one's called L Luxembourg. So let's put it on. So this one's Luxembourg. So I'll switch to the back of my head there. So my next one, and I love the smell to it, is my MAC lipstick. Oops, there we go. MAC lipstick. And this one is in colour Retro Matte in All Fired Up. And that's what it looks like. Again, we're going back into the really dark, peaky colours. So let's put... I love the smell to it. Okay, let's put it on. Um, as you can see, oh, hold on, I haven't put on lipstick on properly. As you can see on my lipstick, that it has been loved a lot. <laughs> um, this is one of my, before I got my NARS yesterday, this was my, and before I got Peugeot, this was my go-to everyday lipstick that I loved. I left this one in my car, it melted a few times, <laughs> hence why, um, I don't know if you can see, but the reason, um, the outer bit of it is 
coloured is because it kind of melted a little bit uh, and the way it was lying down. So that, can you see how that has a bigger gap here and there's hardly any gap down there? It actually touches. That was my fault. That was because I accidentally left it on a really hot day in my car. But yeah, um, this is all fired up. Really love this one too. As I said, I love all these colours, hence why I'm showing them all to you. <laughs> and, oh, hang on. Oh, no, it's all gone. And the final um, pinky one that I have. Oh, hang on, wait. Let me get my MAC lipstick back out. All fired up. So excited about it being one of my favourites, I forgot to swatch it on the back of my hand again. So even though... And they may look the same as you can see on the back of my hand. You can, there's all totally different pinks. Pretty cool. Anyway, so the final pink that I have, which I'm actually okay. The product itself, going on the lips and everything, is awesome. I love it. The only thing that I'm really disappointed in is okay. I'll show you. This is my Too Faced Melted Berry Melted Liquefied Lipstick. The only problem to this is it's clogged up somehow and I try squeezing it out. I can't really squeeze it. I can feel all this air in it and it's still pretty brand new. I haven't used much of it and it's really hard to squeeze any of the product out. I'm squeezing and there's hardly anything coming out. Can you see that people? I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it. Um, it the, I, I've got other... Um, Melted lip, um, liquid lipsticks from Too Faced, but they don't do what this one's doing. I don't know. But anyway, this one's in Melted Berry. They're all different in their own way. But yeah, so this is one of my other favourites. <laughs> so that's the end of the pink section and I'm going to go on to my red section. 